Welcome to the Uriah Jokes Podcast, the podcast that officially knows the words brilliant planetarium, and soon we will learn what a bird kernel is. Wow, and because we got to know about that bird kernel immediately, because we got to know about that bird kernel immediately, I mean now, if I can quote Steve Marabali, today is yours to shape, create a masterpiece. Well, that was a fantastic quote from Plato. That was definitely not from Plato because Plato would roll over in his grade if he ever said something so idiotic. What does that have to do with birds? Now, there are no more words to say, but welcome your host, Uriah Westman. Fantastic. Fantastic. Was that a royal? Was that a royalty free quote? Because we should be able to get paid to say such an awful, vague, and not a great way to start a podcast, but we'll power through it because there are birds. But that that quote belonged on the cutting room floor. But like a lion running after a gazelle, that's life. I just flew in here. Ka-ka! I'm acting like a crazy man. And you're already ruffling my feathers, so I don't need that chirping. It's ridiculous. I want to know about the bird colonel as much as the next guy. Colonel Muskrat, the Colonel Muskrat, the Colonel Colonel Muskrat Meerkat. And upon saying those things, I want to actually know if any of this is real. I mean, look at this. I'm talking. I'm talking. Look at this fire. Wah, wah. I'm a magic man. I'm a magic man. So let's get to our royalty free band to get a bird birding bird bath. And because it's a royalty free, we will be taking a bath. So this is the first time we're gonna find out what this means. Bird kernel is not spelled like kernel, like C E R, you know. It's spelled like really weird. Like look it up, it's awful. I'll put it right there. Because of a generation of lobbying from the Teachers Union of Santa Fe in Florida, the Florida Keys. According to Oxford Dictionary, and that's the dictionary. That's the dictionary where you need a really good GPA or rich parents to get you in, or you need to bribe them. But we all know how that works out. Yes, we do. It's U.S. military slang, a full colonel, a distinct, a distinct from a lieutenant colonel, from a lieutenant colonel, also a full bird colonel. This is just word for word from Oxford. This is what happened. You didn't let me in. You didn't let me in, my grades weren't good enough. I needed a high school diploma. So what I do is I take your words and I turn them against you and I rule it with stupidity partnered with a dash of comedy and I am creating a masterpiece and this bird talks to me. I need I need 2020 to end. So you didn't let me in. So this is how I'm going to get in the dictionary. Game, set, match. I don't even play. Chess and I won. I'm a checkers man. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Can we use this in a sentence? This word is in history. In 1945, he was on a plane with other officers and dog faces going to Paris or Perry, if you want to say it like a moron. Oh, I went to Perry and I got myself a Rari. A wawa, a wawa, a wawa. That's my impression of somebody coming back from Paris 
after they spent their entire life in LA. They all had funny looks on their faces. This story when a bird, when a full bird colonel met the playing and acted like they were five star generals. What up? What does this have to do with birds? None of this is actually birds. This is military birds. I'm not talking about bald eagles right now. I'm only seeing a bunch of birds on a plane. We got, I've had it with this mother and birds on this mother plane. Remember that snake's on the plane. I don't know much about inside the military, but this podcast does know a source who drinks at a dive bar near the White House who got us some replicas of the medication President Nixon was using. Wow, so now we're feeling good. Let's call the spirit of movie pass. RIP, RIP movie pass. RIP, let me in. Let the almighty meme. Oh, let the almighty mime. Looking too good back in the dating game. Guide us through the swords of Quibi's destiny. From Quibi's destiny to failure. Thank you. Was that a prayer? I gotta stop outsourcing my jobs to the Vatican. I should have sold my soul to the devil. Now I'm connected to the Vatican. Otherwise, I'll fall into purgatory. And no one listens to a purgatory podcast. Looks like the inspiration I get for this podcast are all failures. I did not want to have... I always wanted to have an app. And then get a loan from a loan shark. And I love sharks. And it will go to bank in international water and say invest in me. Then I burn through the cash buying cool chairs, cool coffee, cool logos, cool everything. Once we master the meditation breakthrough, social distancing, improv, inclusivity, that all the cool things we have, and then we'll do Tai Chi, and then we'll cultural appropriate, and then we'll go public on the stock market and use that money to merge MoviePass and Quibi. When you take two failures and mix them together, you get success. And that's what we have. And that's what I'm doing right now. I was trying to be a stand-up comedian. Then a coronavirus came. Two bad things. How did I make it good? I started a mediocre podcast. You got it. This podcast is every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and now Fridays because I'm losing my mind.